2024 has been already a year to forget for Chris Jericho as it's been revealed that he was knocked out during an altercation with Montel. Montel is Porter MVP on his cruise. Now, of course, this was revealed quite, you know, they got into a scuffle a few years ago. I believe it was back in 2020. Um, I remember, though, when it came out, it was it was not, it didn't actually come out that it was on his cruise. I believe it was like a hotel or something between these two. So it looks like something else has completely and utterly happened here. So, you know, Cassidy Haynes of Bodyslam.net has uh, broke this news. So, you know, what do we think of this? Does this mean anything? I mean, Jericho, obviously, this year has had to deal with the evacuation, sorry, from Kylie Ray, but uh, now he's having to deal with it. He got battered by the big man, which is MVP, you know, battering him on his own ship. And here, Jericho's wrestling wager, whatever the boat was called, quite incredible, to be honest, that, um, you know, that this actually happened. We know Jericho's a guy that stood up to, like, Brock Lesnar, stood up to, like, Goldberg, and, you know, I applaud Jericho for not being like letting himself get bullied and actually standing up to this, right? But at the, at the same time, like, what would have happened if no one split him and Brock up at SummerSlam 2016? I think it could have been pretty graphic. I think Brock could have killed him. So we've also had Jericho um, getting discussed on the Jim Cornette podcast. He says, man, there is a story I would love to tell, but I didn't get permission him getting knocked out on his own cruise ship by someone he mouthed off to, it's the most incredible fucking story, but I can't talk about that today. Cassie Hennis of Bodyslam.net noted the following regarding last comment. I asked around about the incident on the Jericho cruise and sources were able to confirm the story to me, as well as the identity of the person involved. The incident took place during Jericho's rock and wrestle wager at Seaport Dua. Second wave back in January 2020 during the cruise of an altercation between Jericho and former WWE US and Tag Champ MVP, where heated words were exchanged that resulted in MVP knocking out Chris Jericho. In late 2020, there was a public falling out between AEW's Chris Jericho MVP um, on Twitter. After the May 18th, 2022 edition of Dynamite in Houston, Texas, there was a reportedly like a conversation between Jericho and MVP at the hotel where the wrestlers were staying at. So yeah, that's the one I was referring to. It turns out the one that we're thinking of here was literally about four years ago, um, just before COVID. So, you know, it's actually quite incredible that now these guys have had this, like, beef. Now, of course, they, they fell out in late 2020, which would have been, like, what, near a full year after this supposedly knockout happened. And then they had another like, confrontation in a hotel lobby. It's it's almost like there was an NDA signed to something Jericho and his NDAs, because if we're being honest, if MVP knocked Chris Jericho out on this cruise, which here, I'm not exactly calling bullshit on, but let's just say he did, would he not have, like, used that as a dig towards him among their Twitter beef back then? I'm not too sure. Maybe Jericho later in the hotel wanted a bit of revenge and was looking to uh, absolutely batter him or something. Or get rid of him. I mean, get, get, get revenge. He wasn't going to be battering him. That is for sure. Because that was never, ever going to happen. MVP. Because if MVP can beat up Chris Jericho, then what in the name of Christ is seriously going to happen to Chris Jericho, baby? If someone like a Brock Lesnar got their hands on him. I like Jericho. But you know what? His AEW run has completely like opened my eyes to who Jericho is. And that's got nothing to do with what happened to Kyler Ray. Because honestly, there's, n there's not much to that. It just seems like he got rejected by her. Right? We can't, you know, accuse a guy of rape just because he got rejected by a woman in the day. But what I'm talking about with Jericho is how far he's brown nosing Tony Khan. You know, WWE, all he did was call it like McMahon and Triple H and shit. He goes to AEW and he's so far up Tony Khan's shit. I thought Jericho had morals. Turns out he doesn't. And uh, will he ever, ever find him? I'm not too sure. Not too sure, truths. But anyway, Chris Jericho, MVP, brawling on a boat. What do you make of that? How do you like me now?